Hi friends, this is accounting lecture. Today is the our lecture is about international accounting standard one. Friends, I have done uh, CPA certified public accountant and I am doing PhD. PhD is continued and I have done C articles. BBS Bachelor of Business Studies, BCom Bachelor of Commerce, and I have six year accounting ex experience in different countries as a chief accountant and as a finance manager and i have done teaching uh, in uh, i have done uh, i teach many years friends kindly subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get all the lectures okay let's come to the topic today our topic is ias1 international accounting standard one most 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 important topic this is lecture number 17 international accounting standard one ias one definition this standard sets out the overall framework for presenting of financial statements purpose structure guideline and contents of financial statement mean this standard show the presentation of financial statement purpose of financial statement and structure what structure should be for financial statement guideline and contents how many data should be in the financial statement Framework of financial statements This standard show us that what should be the frame Body of financial statements and purpose of financial statements This standard shows to us presentation of financial statement how should be the presentation of financial statement structure our financial statement structure how should be the financial statement structure and contents how many data should be include in financial statements complete set of financial statements complete set of financial statement in complete set of financial statement the statement of financial position balance sheet statement of profit and loss or other comprehensive income statement of cash flow statement of change in equity and notes to the financial statements when these five financial statements when these five statements are in a one place this is a complete set of financial statements IAS1 IAS1 tells us that when you have these five statements then it means the set of financial statement is completed mean these five statement must be in financial statement so we can if these five statements or in one place so we can say these are financial statement according to the IAS 1 international accounting standard 1 comparative financial statements our financial statements should be comparative financial statement must be comparative with last period mean our financial statement are of to uh, 2020 year uh, for the year 2020 our financial statements are for the year 2020 we should compare our all data with 2019 then it will be right according to the international accounting standard one prepared annually financial statement prepared for the year financial statement prepared for annually this, these are the parts of uh, international accounting standard one tells us 
prepared your financial statement annually Com- materiality your financial statement must have materiality concept ias1 international accounting standard 1 tells us that the financial statement must have materiality concept we are saying that international accounting standard 1 tells us how you will make your financial statement your financial state it's ias1 is totally about the financial statement how purpose of financial statement presentation of financial statement structure of financial statement how you will make the financial statement what should be the purpose how should be presentation how should be structure so materiality ias1 tells us that the financial statement must have materiality concept okay let's come what is materiality the concept of materiality must be followed in the presentation of financial statement okay what is materiality materiality or two types further two types material and immaterial La- if the item effect large on financial statement the item which effect large on financial statement so this is material this item is material for financial statement then if item is material we should implement provision of standards immaterial if if a item have small effect on financial statement and the user of financial statement is not affecting small effect on financial statement i i write here these specific points if item have small effect on financial statement and then it is immaterial and then what we will do does not implement provision of standards we will not implement provision of standards fundamental principles i a i a s 1 international accounting standard 1 tells us that your financial statement must have the fundamental principles must follow the fundamental principles one going concern the financial statement must follow these terms first one is going concern what is going concern business can be continued or not your business can be continue or not consistency your financial statement must have consistency consistency mean continuously no missing you you your financial statements are going continuously mean 2019 data then 2020 data before 2019 2018 data it cannot be possible that 2009 uh, 2018 data is no and you make the 2020 right okay international accounting standard 1 tells us classification your financial statement must be in breakups classified financial statement should be classified format accrual basis ias when tells us that the financial statement must be on accrual basis items what is accrual basis item records in the year which year they belong in financial statement all items must be record in those year to which these items belong complete set of financial statement ias1 international accounting standard 1 tells us your the financial statement must have the five components then it will be complete set of 
then it will be complete set first one statement of financial position balance sheet now is1 tells us how we will make the balance sheet so balance sheet we will make like present and classified all the items in their specific heads okay ias1 tells us that all the heads all the items must be classified in their heads like for example current liabilities separate heads non current liabilities separate head current assets separate head non uh, non current asset separate heads current asset separate heads your balance sheet must have separate separate heads for all items no offsetting between asset and liabilities no offsetting between debtors and creditors what is offsetting offsetting is cancelling the asset and liabilities with each other so i i a s 1 tells us that no offsetting between asset and liabilities no offsetting between debtors and creditors unless offset is permitted if all of offset is permitted then you can do offsetting statement of profit or loss or other comprehensive income include all items this is this is the uh, second component of financial statement statement of profit or loss or other comprehensive income include all items of income and expense profit and loss statement include all income and ex expense items so statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income can be present in a single statement with a subtotal or as a separate statement of profit or loss comma statement of other comprehensive income it's this point mean statement of profit or loss this is one statement other comprehensive income this is another statement these other comprehensive income and profit or loss statements can be make separately or can make in one statement okay within profit or loss statement within profit or loss statement the expense are presented either by their nature for example depreciation by their or by their function for example cost of sale if they are presented by their function additional dis disclosure or required to be presented in notes so very simple in financial statements the items are present uh, by their nature and by function if you will uh, if the items are present by function like cost of sales so additional disclosure should be made okay cash flow statement this is third component of financial statement according to the ias1 so cash flow statement is fully explained in international accounting standard 7 statement of change in equity statement of change in equity show total comprehensive income for the period reconciliation for each component of equity between opening and closing statement of comprehensive income uh, statement of change in equity shows the comprehensive income for the period and the reconciliation between the equity items of opening and closing notes to the financial statement this is five number statement and this is five number statement five number components of financial statements so notes to the financial statements show accounting policies this in notes note shows us to accounting policies judgment of management for accounting policies for recognized amounts in financial statement okay notes to the financial statement what show further 
source of estimation notes to the financial statement shows us source of estimation management of capital compliance with capital requirement okay international accounting standard this year change any change takes place in international accounting standard 1 or not so changes this year non mean no change this year interpretation non pending changes iasb amended material definition in international accounting standard 1 have some pending changes these pending changes are material definition they are changing international accounting standard board amended material definition history of international accounting standard 1 international accounting standard 1 issued 1st january 2005 revised in 2007 to improved owner equity disclosures revised in 2011 to improved oci Re- revised in 2014 as a part of disclosures initiative here our international accounting standard 1 completed i explained fully uh, with my full efforts thank you so much uh friends kindly subscribe my channel and thank you so much